Hey guys, so today I thought I would sit down before I take my makeup off for the day, I'm already in my PJs, um, and talk you through some of my skincare favourites for this time of year um, for nighttime. So it is kind of a little bit of a nighttime routine, but obviously I chop and change products quite a lot depending on if I'm using something active or adding a kind of mask in there, etc. But these are kind of some of the things I've been using currently and just loving. This video is in collaboration with Longcom. If you guys have followed me for a while, you'll know I love Lancome as a brand, both for makeup and skincare, and have done for a very long time, so I'm super excited to be working with them again, um, and talking about some of my kind of like staple products from them too. Um, so I'm gonna get started, because it's gonna just be a kind of chatty routine video, um, and then I'm gonna insert some close-ups of me using all the products after I've filmed this bit. So, I start off by removing all my makeup, and you guys know, if you follow me for a while, I love the Garnier Micellar Waters. They have so many, I can't keep track of all of the different ones they have, but my personal favourite one at the moment, because it changes a lot, is the um, Hyaluronic Aloe Micellar Water. This is perfect if you are kind of looking for kind of more ways to introduce moisture and hydration into your skin. I feel like why not add it in in your makeup remover, essentially. Um, yeah, what else can I say about this? Good value, lasts for ages, love this product. Um, and if you are buying a new one or looking to buy a new micellar water, I definitely recommend trying the hyaluronic one because it's really nice, especially, like I say, this time of year when everything's feeling a bit dry and dull. Um, and then uh, the second step, I've been using this cleanser a lot recently and especially in the evenings because it feels really luxurious. This is the Mousse Eclat from Lancome and the Lancome team actually recommended this to me because I always use the uh, Miel en Mousse cleanser, which is the honey textured one. I've spoken about it tons in the past um, But I tend to use that in the morning like in the shower, but at night time This is a great option. Like I said, especially if you're looking for some extra hydration. It is a mousse, but It's a really hydrating mousse if that makes sense Like foaming cleansers often get lumped into like if you have oily skin use a foaming cleanser kind of category But actually this is for all skin types because it's really soothing. It's like a very rich kind of creamy mousse so it's not stripping on the skin at all and it leaves your skin as a, with a really kind of nice hydrated comfortable base to then put product on it's not as heavy as using a cleansing balm i do love cleansing balms still and will sometimes reach for one of those but for me this is like it, it, if you're doing like a real layering skincare routine and doing kind of serum and actives and blah 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 I feel like this is so nice. I feel like when I use cleansing balms They're really kind of nourishing to the point you feel like there's something already on your skin and I Before anyone says oh you're not taking them off properly. No, I am. It's just you know what I mean They feel richer on your skin whereas this is more lightweight, but still nourishing and still moisturizing Really really like it and if you're looking for a new cleanser and you kind of have sensitive skin or just looking for something that's kind of quite um, calming and, and gentle. This is really, really good. Um, then I also like to use, where's that just gone? Has it rolled on the floor? <laughs> it rolled on the floor. So this is a toner from Laneige, which is a brand that I've tried a few things from them, but not a huge amount. I bought this fairly recently. I really, really like it. So it's called Waterbank with blue, it's blue hyaluronic exfoliating toner. So I don't know if you can see the texture. It is a water, but it has like a little something to it. I personally don't really know the difference between this and an essence, because to me, this feels like how essences from other brands feel. Um, it's not like a toner texture, it definitely has a little something in there, and you can kind of feel the hyaluronic acid, like there's a teeny tiny bit of tackiness, um, but it's really just another way of like adding a little bit of hydration into your routine, and also um, just, I love the kind of process of using a product like this because I kind of press it into the skin and it just is like an injection of moisture. And then after I've used that I go in with whatever serums I'm going to use that evening. And the Lancome Advanced Genifique Serum is like a cult product that is actually, it's bit, it's always on my shelf in my bathroom, right? So if I, whether or not I'm using kind of a mask or more kind of active skincare products or appeal, etc. This is something I tend to reach for when I want, um, like a real boost of hydration and just to kind of really care for my skin but at the same time still be focused on anti-aging rather than just kind of you know like bit like hyaluronic acid on its own so this serum has hyaluronic acid pre and probiotics so it's really helping to kind of restore your skin barrier um, and it's really kind of lightweight as well which i really like so if you are layering like i said i'm using quite a lot of products 
in this routine this evening so I quite like it for that because it gives you that kind of hydration boost and the, and the smoothing effect like it makes your skin instantly look super nice um, but it's not heavy um, so you feel like you can still keep kind of adding product on top of it I also love the packaging because it stops you from using too much and that's something that I am super super guilty of all the time especially with high-end products and you don't want to be using like way too much and going through them really quickly it's really good when they have like a dosing system so the cap obviously allows you to pipette the right amount of serum and I really I just really like the texture of this to be honest and then I also love the eye version which is the light pearl you guys might have seen this over the years it's been out for quite a long time they've recently changed the formula though to include caffeine in there so like really focusing on depuffing. I love this in the morning too to be honest um, because it has that metal applicator that's like super super cooling and allows you to do like a facial massage type situation it's really smooth so you can just kind of smooth it all around the eye area and it's also formulated to be used on lashes as well so if you want to use it as like a conditioner for your lashes to strengthen them and condition them you can and it's just oh, the texture is literally super super nice um, and again really refreshing but lightweight so it's like much more um it's much much less kind of heavy than using a cream but at the same time still feels super super hydrating absolutely love that and then i have recently gone back to using my drunk elephant um retinol and this i have like come it should come with a major warning because this is one of the only like readily available retinols that you don't have to get a prescription for etc that actually really really i notice such a difference in my skin when i'm using it i haven't been able to use it until literally this week because of having a baby and breastfeeding etc um so it yeah what can i say one percent retinol and just be very very careful with it don't put it near your lips or under your eyes i also avoid my neck i literally go and done and i use one pump and it's really really good um, and then lastly back to the Genifique range the advanced Genifique night cream I change up my night creams quite a lot actually because they're one of those products that I really I, I kind of really notice a difference when I'm using different ones because they tend to be heavier I really love a super rich night cream on top of all that skincare and just like oh, just let your skin soak it up overnight again because it's the Genifique range it's hyaluronic acid pre and probiotic but this one also has ceramides in it so it has that kind of super super hydrating anti-aging effect and just it's really really smooth the one thing that i like about this though it's very very rich and very kind of nourishing on the skin and it literally like leaves your skin looking super plumped and nice but it's not like a traditional cream formula there's something about it that's like slightly gel like it is still white but it has like a slight kind of gel texture to it that it is really really nice and again still like really leaves your skin feeling kind of fresh i really like it and that is it that's all i'm using this evening sometimes i'll swap and change products out or um add different things in sometimes i'll do a mask etc but that's what i've been using at the moment hope you guys enjoyed it a little nighttime sit down before i do my skincare um and big thanks to long for sponsoring this video i love you guys um i will speak to you all very soon bye